Hi guys, I'm Lisa, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use the paintbrush tool inside Photo P. So what you want to do is you want to go over to this little icon over here. And a shortcut to get there is just by pressing B on your keyboard. After you do that, all of this stuff should appear. And this is the main basics of it. But before we worry about all of that, you want to go over to your colour palette over here. So the very first um, colour will be the colour that your paintbrush will produce. So for me, it will be black. So I just click it, and then you can change your colours. I'm going to make mine blue since that's my favourite colour. And press OK. So to use your paintbrush, you just want to hold your mouse and just drag it like this. And you can mess around with this for a bit if you want to. And um, if you made a mistake and you want to up and you want to undo it, you can just press Control and Z. Then we'll just remove the lines like that. So now you want to go over to this little. Um, you want to click this, and you can change the size of your brush, bigger and smaller, and the hardness. So basically, what the hardness does is if I put the hardness at um, twenty percent, oh, I'll just put the hardness at ten percent. You, it's like very light and it's, it's and then you get this little um, effect around it so it's kind of like a soft brush if I put the hardness at 100% you can see that the brush is a lot more um, thicker and solid so the lower the hardness is the softer your brush is and if it's at 100% then um, your brush will be solid like that so now if we go back to this window um, you can change the size so just bring these um, little circles down like that then you can change the size like that and you can click this to rotate it like that then there are also some options here if you just want to mess around with these like this and everything like that um, so yeah uh, also um, a shortcut to get to this window over here is just get your paintbrush tool selected and right click and then it comes up with the same window like that um, and also, if you want to change the size um, easily, um, I'll have the image what I mean on the screen, but the left one goes smaller, like that. Then the right one, if you press the right one, it goes bigger, like that. But yeah, I'll, I'll put a picture on um, what I mean on the screen so it'll be easier. Then let's go over to the blend mode. The blend mode doesn't really matter um, unless you're doing some very intense digital art, but it's just best to keep it at normal. So now for the opacity. So basically, um, if we make the opacity low, for example, 17%, you can see that um, our lines are basically see-through. They're very transparent. Um, but you can still see them, but it's just a little bit harder. But if I make my opacity 100%, then you can see our lines very easily and visibly. So basically what the opacity does, um, the lower the opacity is, it's more transparent and if you make the opacity higher then it's very easy to see so if I make my opacity 0% you can't see it at all because it's transparent <laughs> yes yeah, so that's basically the opacity um, we just gonna make this back to 100% and the flow um, I'm going so basically if flow 100% is like that flow let's just say 12 you can see lines at the ends and that's not very that pleasing then if you look closer you can kind of see the lines in between so each brush brush brah, brush so yeah um, I don't normally mess with the flow I just normally keep it at 100% like that and the smooth yes smooth doesn't really matter honestly um, but I'll just show you this is smooth zero this is smooth 100% it's not that much of a difference so I just normally keep my smooth at zero like that so I'm just going to draw something for you guys um, I'm just going to draw a smiley face with a nose and a oh my gosh that is this kind of looks a bit terrifying but yeah you can mess around with all these brushes you can have fun with them so yeah um, anyways I hope that you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and um, if you have any problems or questions just let me know in the comment section and I'll help you um, so yeah, uh, bye guys!